So this is problem 33 from chapter 7. We're looking at advertised horsepower and gas mileage for these different vehicles. And the first thing we need to do is make a scatter plot for these data. And I will show you how to do that on the TI right now. So um, I've already entered the data into my lists right here, as you can see. And the first thing we need to do to make a scatter plot is go to stat plot. Um, I'm going to tell this one to turn on, and I need to um, select this first one right here that is a scatter plot. And the X lists are stored in L1, the Y lists are stored in L2, and you can use any mark that you want really for this part. And as usual, we do zoom 9, and there's our scatter plot. Um, the uh, next part asks us to describe the direction, form, and strength of the plot. So um, this document right here I wrote and posted on Schoology for you to take a look at as well. Um, here's a pretty scatter plot from MATLAB that shows the same data we have right here. And um, I said that the association between horsepower and MPG is negative, roughly linear, and moderately strong. The book says it's strong. If you call it strong, that's okay. I said moderate because I see a little bit of scatter down here and this guy right here, which is maybe an outlier or at least is a little bit outside of the trend here, but um, there's clearly a negative relationship between horsepower and highway MPG here. Um, the next part of the problem is asking us to take a look at um, the correlation between horsepower and miles per gallon. Now remember, correlation is a single number, so um, the place that students often make mistakes is they say correlation when they mean association. We say that there's an association between horsepower and highway MPG, but we don't say that there's a correlation between these two variables because correlation means this um, coefficient right here, r. But let's see how we're going to calculate that on the TI. The first thing you need to do is um, turn something on. So we go to catalog right here by pushing second zero and we need to scroll all the way down to um, the D's. And I need to turn diagnostic on. Now you only need to do this once and then you don't have to do it again until you reset the memory on your calculator. Now at this point what we want to do is go back to stat, calc, and go all the way down to this linear regression right here. There's another one at um, six, and, or excuse me, eight, and as far as I know they do the same thing, it's just a different form of the same equation. And so it doesn't really matter which one you use at this moment because what we're looking for um, is R. So again, I've got X list as L1, the data that I have already in there, Y list is L2. We're not looking at any frequency list, we're not going to put the equation anywhere, and so we calculate. Now this is the number that I'm looking for right here, negative 0.869 if we round that. And I believe that is the answer that I have right here, okay? The final part of the question is asking us to write a few sentences telling what the plot says about fuel economy. And here's how I answered that. I said there appears to be a moderately strong negative linear relationship between horsepower and MPG. So that means the more horsepower the vehicle is capable of, the worse mileage it gets. There's one vehicle, um, this Lexus, I believe it's a Lexus, um, right here that uh, gets pretty good gas mileage for having such high horsepower. And so it's slightly outside of the trend and that's worth mentioning. So that showed us a couple things, how to make scatter plots and how to calculate R on the TI-84. Oh, and one more, one more note, because um, some people don't get um, the same dialogue when they go to do the linear regression. So what you might see uh, looks something like this. Okay, it's going to say linear, linear reg, like that. And you need to put after it L1 comma L2. And when you hit enter, it's going to give you the same data. Hope that helps.